Whew. All right, it's me again. Hey, how's it going? It's Robert, and uh, I made it back up here. I just got a little, uh, I guess, gold fever because I had, couldn't sit in my house much longer. Had to come out. I don't care how hot it is today. If I just dig a little, at least I dug. And if I get some gold, that's always good too. I always do get gold. There's always gold here, no matter how much you dig. I mean, if you're digging in the right spot. And let me see here. I just got to the one mile marker. And I'm just barely breaking a sweat here. And it's like 7 in the morning, I guess. I don't know. There it is. One mile marker. And that's my introduction, or whatever you're going to call it. And that's all I got is a backpack on today. I got a gallon of Gatorade in there, though. Frozen. Anyways, it's a little bit cloudy out. That should help. Not with the humidity, but with uh, that direct sun's no good. Not out here, it's not. All right, I'm going to get back on the trail. And I'll get out. Break out the camera again once I start digging and check on my gear. Make sure my gear's okay out there. I heard somebody cut up my tent, so we'll see. No biggie if they did. It's just a tent. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm still hiking. Um, I stopped by this big rock here. Everybody who's been up here knows about this big rock. But I always thought about, you know, I should come to the back side of it right here. And this is like a bank. Big bank of just material. Um, and it's probably, well it's on in the front side of it too, so. It was probably a good collection for gold right here. Obviously people have dug way under there. I don't know why, it looks pretty dangerous, but. Um, I guess somebody else had the same idea. I see a hole right in here somewhere. That's a pretty good size hole. I was just wondering if they got any uh, gold out of that. It'd be nice to know. But anyways, I'm going to get back on the trail. Just thought I'd show a little uh, big rock picture now on this side. So this is actually a fairly narrow. Yeah, it is fairly narrow right here. You got this side and this side and it's not far between so this, there's got to be gold in here I mean this is probably all caved down so at one time this probably was open more this area but anyways I'm gonna get back on the trail so I can go get some gold and check on my gear all right um, there was something else I was gonna say but I guess I didn't need to whatever Alright, it looks like somebody found my stash spot. Got my main sluice box. Um, hopefully they just dragged it around somewhere. James' shoes are still here. Uh, they even got the barrel. Wow, I'm going to go check up in the narrow see who's got it. It'll be easy to spot my stuff. And... They didn't take that box. My digging bar is still there, so that's good. At least they left me a box to work with today. And... Wow. I can't believe somebody actually found it. Almost like they were looking. That's crazy. But whatever, I still got a box. I'm not going to get all bent. When you hide your stuff up here, you got to expect there's going to be jerks out there who are going to take it. That's just the way it is. Beautiful day though. It's not too, uh, not too hot. Anyways, I'm going to get to digging. See how it goes. Maybe look around for my stuff a little more. That's it for now. Alright, I just ran my first bucket. Um, looks pretty good. Got a piece there, a whole bunch of pieces there, some over there. Nothing really in the lower map, but 
Hey, for one bucket, that's a lot of gold. Not even a full bucket, like a half a bucket. I'm pretty happy. That's a picker you're almost there. Yeah. All that other gold, I'll be. Should, uh, do a few more buckets, maybe I can buy a new sluice box. Who knows? <laughs> I'll just carry it out of here for now on. Since everybody's stealing all my stuff, but whatever. Uh, back to digging. All right, I just ran my second bucket, or maybe my third, I don't know. But um, I think it's just my second. But I'll know once I watch the video. But there's a really nice picker. Um, it probably won't come out on video, but it's in there. Anyways, I still got that one. All those pieces. Looks like uh, I might go ahead and grab that out of there because uh, that's a nice one. Really chunky, like a nice uh, baby nugget. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and grab that out of there and then back to digging. All right. I'm. Uh, Got some pretty good gold. I only ran about four buckets, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's gold in there. Anyways, I just can't get into it today after my stuff came up missing. I mean, my tent's over there. I had clothes in there. They took my clothes. They took my good sluice box. They took good tent, a good sleeping bag. So, judging by all the stuff that they took, it's somebody who's probably sleeping up here. So, And then um, I'm hearing people are talking smack about me, saying that I'm jolt, hole jumping and stuff, jumping in people's holes. And if they watch my videos, they'll see that I'm not. I just dig in this one, same spot. Dang fly. All the time. It's one of those mean flies, dang it. Ugh. Anyways, I gotta get this fly. It's like a mean one. Yeah, I just can't get into it today, so... I would like to find out who this person is that's talking smack about me. Spreading rumors or whatever. I don't know. Got nothing better to do, I guess. But, um... I understand they probably don't like my videos, but... Like I said, I come to the same spot every time... I'm not showing everybody else's spots or anything. Um, I think the person spreading rumors is trying to make it to turn people against me to make it okay to steal my stuff. And that's what I'm thinking. And I'd just like to find out who that person is. But obviously people up here know and they just won't tell me. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but you guys know who you are. Anyways, enough of drama. I'm, I'm by myself. <laughs> I bring nobody with me and I still get drama. I just, I just want to dig for gold, that's all. And I have to come up here and deal with all this. Whatever. Anyways, I'm getting good gold, so I just can't get into that. My mind just keeps going over and over, even though I really don't care that much. I don't know. Can't get into the digging, so I guess I'm going to head back. I was going to stay the night, but since I have no tent or anything, they took that. I had an extra one stashed. They took that one, you know. This one got ripped. I don't know. Somebody probably dragged it and broke it because they don't care about their other people's stuff. But anyways, enough drama. I just had to get that out there. Uh, maybe I'll find out who it is today. I'm going to go campsite hopping on the way back down and then maybe next week I'll go up up the narrows and check it out I mean my clothes are missing I, I know my sluice box I know the tent I know everything if I see it I'll get it back that's all there is to it but anyways enough of that I think I'm gonna pack up and head on back if I keep digging I can get like a gram today easy but it's not into it all right next time 
I'll be on the trail, hopefully. Yeah, pretty good goal, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it's not that hot up here today, either. Nice clouds. So come on up. Bring your friends and your family and bring everybody. Just everybody come up here and dig. <laughs> Want to steal my stuff? I'll invite people up. That's it. All right, I got uh, what's left of my valuables, my sluice box over there, and whatever I had left, it's in my backpack. Um, I know some people like Larry and Steven, somebody, have some stuff in the tent still, so I'm going to leave it here for one more week. As you can see, they cut it there, ripped it, and then this pole broke probably from somebody dragging it which I think I know who did that and then this rip here but anyways there's your uh, sled Larry and a uh, bunch of other people stuff I don't know who so I'm gonna leave it there and then next week I'm gonna get this I'm gonna take this tin out of here and throw it away so if you got anything in there come get it but yeah I got a little bit of gold and recovered my whatever stuff I had left. <laughs> and I'm out of here. Uh, maybe I'll try somewhere new now. Like not even the East Fork. It's another kind of prospecting. But anyways, that's it for now. Beautiful day though. The, the heat's not that bad up here, so if you want to come up, come on up, everybody. Anybody, everybody, all the time. Big horn sheep. <laughs> they think they want to attack me. You got that look in their eye. That's right, better not. Alright, break it up. I'm coming in. I'm blocking my trail here. Uh. Man, they look dangerous. I think they're pissed off. Don't even think about it, guys. Gonna try to pass them. Uh, please don't attack me. They look like they want to attack. Oh, they're attacking each other. Those are some big ones. <laughs> that was pretty scary. That's right where I walked. All right, enough of that. Back on the trail. Okay, I made it home. And ah, there it is. A little bit of gold there. That one's kind of cool. There's a piece of wire gold there. 
right there is a long piece of wire gold. But this one is actually a pretty big piece. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a crummy camera, so let's see here. Put it down the corner. Oh, that's not all of it, but. Not too bad for just, what, four buckets? <laughs> That's all it was. Four buckets. I, I mean, I hiked four miles in, four miles out. That's eight miles in one day. And it's still sunny out. I drove home for an hour at least. Yeah. But yeah, here's all I have left is this loose box, which I thank uh, Mad Mining for giving it to me. Everything else I got was pretty much stolen. They took my clothes. They took my my pan, my favorite pan that I cook boil water in and cook in. They took uh, my digging bar, my other sluice box. Um, I, you know, there was too much to list, but I'm just happy to walk away with this. And I just quit smoking, so I was kind of a little stressful out there. But I'm on day five now. Day five, no cigarettes after, what, 20 years? No. I started when I was 20, and I smoked for 30 years, yep. And I've, I'm day five of quitting now. After 30 years of smoking. That's crazy. But yeah, I can't replace any of this stuff. I mean, this is basically what I live in. I don't work. I take care of my brother. I help my mom take care of my brother. That's why I'm here. I kind of sacrificed my life to do that. And I go up and get gold once in a while and make videos. And apparently people don't like that. So, you know what? Um, I'm just blessed to have anything. Really. I mean, I've already lost everything, basically. Wife included. Kids. Oh, another thing I found out when I got home, I'm going to be a grandfather, so... The day turned out pretty good after all. Anyways, that's that's the end of my video. And if Casey, if you watch this, congratulations. Anitra, congratulations. I love you both. And um, I'm going to come see the baby. I have to. As long as mom's not there. <laughs> Look at all that gold. I got to make a baby ring for your baby. <laughs> all right, that's it.